So there has been transformation that I cannot deny. Safe. I feel good while I'm here because I can change if, my, if I tell my mind so. Some of the guys have got great testimonies as to why, where they are, how they're doing. And for them to now use that as a springboard to, to, to just launch and help others would be tremendous. It is possible to change your life and not be a, a street thug if you want to look at it that way anymore. And it's possible. It's all possible to cross. For us to be able to come in here and try to reach at least one person and try to make a difference in one of those guys' lives and maybe even uplift one of them to like start spreading the good news of God and what He's done in that one person's life and trying to make a difference in the next person's life, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of that. The first of all is to stay sober, stay clean, yeah, to fight for my sobriety, to fix uh, my the relationships with my family my loved ones, my, uh, and my neighbors, my community, because make my dreams come true, yes. Yeah, hey, listen, it's not the end of the road. Tomorrow, if you want to climb that ladder, you can make it happen. I hope for that. Support equals confidence. Project Exodus, it doesn't end there. So when the site is, not, is no longer in place, it doesn't mean that people are not there and the service is not needed. Project Exodus, basically what it brings is hope, they bring encouragement and they bring that up. Project Exodus hopes to uh, provide some tools to, to help these guys really integrate and back into society in some form or manner, um, really to help and, and, and get them to achieve a recovery process and uh, in the future to become members of society that can, that can sustain themselves and, and give back to the community later.